Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and today Apple released iOS 11.2.5 to the public. This went through seven different beta versions, and if you're on the beta, or beta 7 actually, you have the final version. It came in at different sizes depending on if you're on the beta or if you're on the public release 11.2.2 and updating to this version. But basically, if you're on the beta and you want to get this version, it's not showing up. Uh, basically you already have it. So all you need to do is delete the beta profile under settings, go to general, scroll down to the bottom, go to profile, delete this reboot. And once you reboot, that's it. You'll already have it. You don't need to install an update or anything. Now, if you installed from the public version and went to the public version, uh, that's pretty straightforward under settings. And then you go to general and software update. You'll have that. You can also do it through iTunes, but it makes no difference in which way you do this. Now, this particular version uh, it doesn't have a whole lot new in it, but let's first take a look at the build number and you'll see it's the same as public beta seven or beta seven. This version is 15 D six zero. And you can see uh, from what it looks like, you're not going to see any visual changes whatsoever. And basically the only thing that we know that it really does is address security issues. Basically it addresses a security issue where a malicious link could be sent to you through your text messaging and it could freeze the phone up. It fixes that issue. And there's also some background bugs and things that were fixed. Now we thought originally it would introduce uh, new features that let Siri play news and things like that, but that actually came out with 11.2.2 a couple of weeks ago. And basically it just readies this device for the home pod. So we're waiting for the home pod to come out and now your phone's ready for it. And there's a bunch of bug fixes that we don't really know about. We don't know specifically what it fixes, but things do feel fluid and fast. And if you were on the public beta or the developer beta, you know that it's pretty good. Most people thought that this had good battery life. Uh, the last beta, which is the same number as this current build, basically they have the same everything and battery life was good for most people. Even on an iPhone six and six S people were reporting better speeds. Now, speaking of the older phones, this version does not have the update that allows you to uh, change the performance for your battery. That's coming in an upcoming version, probably 11.3 in those betas and then the final release later on. So probably in February, it seems like we're going to get that version to the public and you'll have the option to actually keep your phone fast, but it might die quicker or more quickly. And then that sort of thing. We'll take a look at that when that comes out, but basically battery life has been stable. This version's fine to update to. Uh, there's really no issues with it and everything's nice and fast. I normally test this by kind of doing the 3d touch on these. If it doesn't stutter, uh, landscape doesn't have issues on the plus devices. You can't do that on the non plus devices. Uh, everything is looking pretty good. Now I did run a geek bench on this, so let's take a look at that. So in geek bench, you'll see here that the single core and multi-core scores are very close to that of the previous betas, uh, beta seven final release. You're going to get very similar results. You're going to be off a hundred or 50 to a hundred or less, depending on which time you run this. I close all the apps when I run this, but basically you'll see these are all the different versions and it stays consistent in the 10,000 range for multi-core and 4,000 range for single core. That's on an eight plus. So it seems fine. Everything seems smooth. Uh, some people do have some issues with the dock at the bottom. I don't know if that's fixed yet because I didn't experience that problem. So let me know in the comments below, but there's not really anything exciting and new when we have an 11 point something and then another number that basically means it's just a small update bug update things like that let me know though if you found anything else exciting if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and like also if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper i'll leave it in the description below as always thanks for watching this is aaron i'll see you next time